The horseshoe kidney is the most common form of renal fusion anomaly. It occurs in one out of every 400 people. In the horseshoe kidney, there is a midline fusion of the two kidneys, with each kidney having its own ureter and pelvis. A horseshoe kidney is ectopic. It is usually located in a lower position than the normal kidney. The two kidneys usually fuse at the lower poles by a connecting band of renal tissue called an isthmus. The isthmus is usually situated anterior to the aorta and inferior vena cava. The renal pelvis is frequently anteriorly oriented. A transverse midline view of the aorta, as in this image, is optimum for better visualization of the connecting isthmus. This video clip shows a case of horseshoe kidney. As you can see, this is the right kidney. The lower pole of the right kidney is endless as we continue scanning. This is a transverse view of the aorta showing the isthmus interior to the aorta and IVC. As we continue to the left side of the abdomen, we can see the left kidney. This is a longitudinal view of the left upper quadrant of the same patient. It shows that the left kidney lies in a lower position than the normal kidney. This is a transverse view of the abdomen above the umbilicus. It shows a horseshoe kidney. The isthmus or the connecting renal parenchymal band is seen anterior to the aorta and inferior vena cava. The right and left kidney are seen in this view. Approximately 30% of patients with horseshoe kidneys also have other urinary tract anomalies. Several complications can be associated with horseshoe kidney. The most common are hydronephrosis, infection, or stone formation. Recurrent infection occurs due to reflux and UPJ obstruction. Nephrolithiasis occurs due to stasis and infection. This is a longitudinal view of the left kidney in a patient with horseshoe kidney. As you can see, the left kidney shows marked hydronephrosis with thinning of the renal parenchyma. This patient has renal stones, as you will see in the next sin clips. This is a longitudinal view of the right kidney in the same patient. It shows a renal stone. This is a transverse view of the renal isthmus in the same patient. It shows bilateral stones in the isthmus, as the red circles are outlining in the sin clip. 